foreign exchange market is considered as the largest financial market in the world it is a place where uh, all currencies of different countries of the world is traded as it is an over the counter market so it does not provide a single location in the world where currency traders can get together and that is the reason Uh, that in this market all trading of currencies uh, is uh, traded in terms of us dollars by cross rate we mean the exchange rate between two non us currencies or in other words a uh, cross rate is the rate between dollar exchange of one currency and the dollar exchange rate of an other currency let assume that 1 euro is equal to 1 dollar and 1 swiss franc is equal to 2 dollars so the cross rate between euro and a, a swiss franc is equal to 0.50 but what if the cross rate of euro for a single swiss franc is equal to 0.40 now this means that there is some inconsistency and and that inconsistency is uh, the uh, is this uh, this consistency is between the cross rate and the exchange rate Uh, let take an example to understand this inconsistency and the uh, benef potential benefit that a foreign exchange trader can have using this particular inconsistency. We assume that uh, you can convert hundred dollars to Swiss franc, uh, where the Swiss franc has a uh, two units equivalent to one US dollar. So uh you can convert 100 us dollars into 200 us francs at this exchange rates now uh, convert these uh, uh convert euros to the cross rate where you have 200 swiss francs and the cross rate of the euro is 0.40 uh, per swiss franc 1 so you will get 80 euros now this means that we have uh two prices of euros one is 100 and the other is 80 however converting dollars into euros without going through the swiss francs uh you can have a uh, 100 dollars where the exchange rate between the euro and dollar is equal to 1 as i have earlier said that in this example we have two prices of euro one is uh, the exchange rate between euro and dollar equivalent to 1 and the other is the uh, equality of 0.80 euro with 1 us dollar and this price is definitely depends on the fact that how we get the uh, euros in the market now there is a concept that is the uh, triangular arbitrage this triangular arbitrage plays an important role in minting money uh, using the cross rates and in this play we basically buy low and sell high uh, different currencies now assume that euros are cheaper than the us dollars as we buy them with the us dollars so it is possible to get 1 euro instead of just 0.8 euro this means that uh, we need to proceed in certain steps in the triangular arbitrage process the first step is to buy 100 euros for 100 dollars and then with these 100 euros you need to buy 200 swiss francs at a cross rate of 
पॉइंट फोर यूरो एंड देन यू नीड टू बाय हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव डॉलर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ अवेलेबल टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी स्विस फ्रेंक्स एट द एक्सचेंज रेट ऑफ टू स्विस फ्रेंक्स इक्वल एंड टू वन डॉलर्स this means that your dollar value raises from 100 dollars to 125 dollars so this a uh, three step arbitrage transaction have has given you a profit of 25 dollars in this particular play take another example I uh, assume that exchange rate between a uh, one unit of dollar is equivalent to point six of British pound, and there are a uh, two six francs equal to one US dollars. The cross rate then a uh, Swiss franc is e uh, the cross rate then is equal to the three six franc equivalent to point six British pound. Now let's see whether there is any inconsistency between the cross rate and the exchange rate and how one can earn profit using uh, these cross rates assuming that the person has 100 dollars with himself if we see the cross rate then this should be equal to 3.33 swiss francs per us uh, per british pound so the exchange rate for uh, between dollars and swiss francs is equal to uh, 200 swiss francs and using the exchange rate between swiss francs and the british pound we get a pound in total of 66.67 and using the exchange rate between us dollar and the british pound uh, we get Hundred and eleven point one two dollars. So we started from hundred dollars and ended up with hundred and eleven point one two dollars. So again, this three step uh, triangular arbitrage transaction has resulted in the profit of eleven point one two US dollars in foreign exchange market. one uh, there are two types of transaction the one is spot trade and the second is the power trade if we talk about spot trade this refers to an agreement to exchange currency at the spot means at the present or at zero time period uh, in spot trade transaction the trade is generally settled between the two business days and uh, in such type of trade the exchange rate is called as a spot exchange rate whereas the forward trade is concerned this refers to the agreement to exchange currency at some point of time in future the rate to be used in a uh, a future and that is but that is that rate is agreed upon today so this rate is called as forward exchange rate in forward trade transactions settlement is generally uh, takes place Uh, between the coming twelve months period, there is a concept of forward premium and forward discount in these types of trades. Up, uh, uh, I mean the foreign trade. Uh, if a currency is more expensive in future than it is today, then this means that the currency is to be selling at a premium. in terms of the relative currency and opposite is true for the for, uh, forward discount now how forward premium and forward discount can be computed let's take an example we expect a receipt of 1 million british pound in next 6 months the spot and 180 day forward exchange rate in terms of dollars per a british pound is 1.5649 dollars 
एंड 1.562 uh, six respectively. Uh, how many dollars we can get in six months? And the second question is that is the pound selling at a discount or premium relative to the US dollar? Uh, for the first part of the question, uh, we uh, need to multiply the 1 million British pound with the forward exchange rate of, of US dollar. So we have 1.5625 million US dollars after six months. And we see that buying a pound in the forward market is less cheaper than it is today. This means that the pound is selling at discount at present in relation to the US dollar.